This is an insane place that we're at right now. This is Jewel at the airport. We're on our way out and we need coffee before we check in for our flight. And there happens to be a Starbucks here. So let's go in. It's called the Starbucks Reserve. Draft coffee and tea, fresh on the tap. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Look at this. This is pretty. <gasps> what is that machine? Hi. <laughs> Ooh, sandwiches. Heinie's chicken rice, quinoa salad. Yo, Milo chocolate tiramisu. Say what? That looks nice. So it's stuff you can only get here. Cold brew ice cream, vanilla ice cream. It's a wafer cheesecake swirl. Ooh, they've got fancier drinks here too. It's a little sandwich making station, like a Subway, except it's at a Starbucks. They even just have the Subway ovens. They have little refrigerator doors, keeping everything chilled nicely. I love the door. Monster cookies. Monster cookies. Raw mayo cheese cheese sandwich. Wholesome tuna and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese brioche. Oh my goodness, that's the most inventive thing I've ever seen, Jewel. A laksa croissant bowl. Turkey ham and omelet sandwich. Butter ham and cheese sandwich. It's called a panwich, not a sandwich. sandwich. Peanut butter and Joe's Tally, four cheese toasts. Pancakes with trio spreads. Toasty bagels. Smoked salmon cream cheese. Cold beef croissant. Mozzarella, tomato, and pesto ciabatta. Vintage mushroom quiche. Oh my goodness, look at these. Why did I eat breakfast this morning? So Julia got the salmon ciabatta. Let's play some beer roll of how that's being crafted. Basically, you have a slice of a ciabatta, a spread of some sort of sauce, layered on top, and then three thin smoked salmon pieces handcrafted into the shape of a flower. Oops, one didn't make it into a flower. Let's grab another piece, because here in Singapore, at the Starbucks, the salmon must be crafted perfectly. Look at her. See her? See that look? That's the look of waiting 20 minutes for a sandwich because Julia needed to get the most complicated one here. After the three salmon pieces are laid down, grab two slices of tomato, cut them in half. Set them sequentially in specific parts of the bread. That way it balances out the salmon to tomato ratio. She actually looks worried. She looks very concerned. Oh, she saw me. Then let's grab some balsamic vinaigrette and dab on three little circles in three quadrants of the sandwich. You're giving me anxiety, I'm hungry. Next comes on the aioli, three dabs of aioli. Then lightly dust on a seasoning blend on top, a mixture of peppercorn and garlic, salt, and then to finish it off, some micro greens. Hand placed strategically for visual performance, enhancement, okay. optimization. It's gorgeous. It actually took uh, 17 minutes, I timed it. Patience is key if you want nice things, JP. There's several options for you guys to get here if you come. This is what we decided to pick. What would you get if you came to this fancy Starbucks? Quite possibly the fanciest Starbucks in the world. Wow, this is big. Where do we sit? I don't even know. I'm still going. There's more space. I'm still going. There's more space. Here's a spot. Wow, they even have every type of outlet here so we can charge our phones and our computers. Excuse me, ma'am, there's a line out the door. I'm sorry, I'm making Julia a sandwich. Excuse me, ma'am, this restaurant went out of business. I'm sorry, I've been making Julia a sandwich. It did take her long, but look how pretty, come on. This does not taste like a Starbucks. This is the fanciest Starbucks ever. I can't believe the details matter so much. That lady took so much pride and care into that. I feel like I'm at a fine dining establishment. This is better than any other type I've ever had. The fact that they put it on a ciabatta instead of a bagel makes it fancier. And that was cream cheese they spread on top. She was so careful with that. She just took like another like leveling tool to level it all on. Watching her do that gave me anxiety though. I saw you filming, I was like, what the heck is happening over there? So I got a nitro brew, which is my first time ever having a nitro brew. Flat white, I don't even know what that means, it just seems popular. Mm. And it's good, it's cool, it's so hot here in Singapore. Why get a hot drink? Oop, JP, you got a hot drink. Caramel macchiato. Here you are, John Paul. Look at this. This is the pancake sandwich that JP got. I got it because I'm like, is that a McGriddle without the M on top? I'm like, I gotta get that. It looks like egg, ham, cheese, pancake. Look, they even have like peppered ham. That's fancy ham. I don't see that at Starbucks. 
Now I'm curious if all the Starbucks here in Singapore are like this, or if this is just the special reserve. Mmm, even their macchiato's better. Mmm. Mm. It's so weird because I was eating salmon at the hotel buffet breakfast. I hate to say it, but I'll say it. This thing's better. It is better. I think when you've ordered it, everyone's like, oh, no, she got the salmon. It's too hot to make. You gave the staff a challenge today, Julia, and I respect that. This I had to get. Being a fan of the McGriddle, let's see how your McGriddle stands up to Mickey D's. Mm. Wow, that is phenomenal. That pancake, it's pillowy, it's full but fluffy, it's sweet but not too sweet, and it's still got like a little bit of savoriness buried inside. It's fancy, it's well balanced, it's Starbucks Reserve. Hashtag not sponsored. How does it uh, compare to the McGriddle since you brought it up earlier? This is probably three and a half levels higher than a McGriddle. This is the best last stop before we leave Singapore. Oh my goodness, Julia, I'm not even joking. You're gonna love this. But Julia, you take a bite for yourself and you tell me what you think. I'm not gonna lie. I dislike McGriddles entirely. Take that back. I'm not taking it back. It's my real thought. It's my real feeling. You're not allowed to have real thoughts or feelings. Mm. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that egg, but the sweetness with the savory, the salty, this is a really good sandwich. Is this better than a McGriddle as well? Yes. We should also analyze the Starbucks. The minute you walk in, it's just wide open. It's not like cluttered feeling. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. The artwork on the walls all kind of has this Starbucks essence to it. Like there's mermaids kind of embedded in the artwork. And they're doing coffee tastings downstairs. They're teaching people about coffee. I think it's super interesting. This isn't just a Starbucks. This is an experience. We're only in one sector of the Starbucks. There's three floors. Underneath us is another Starbucks. More than what I've already seen? More than what you've already seen. It's like the lower class part of the Starbucks. It's more of the grab and go, not the chill, relax, and, and feel like you had a reservation. I'm so glad we got to show you guys the world's fanciest Starbucks, most likely, and the biggest one in Singapore. This is incredible. We got to see it all. We got to taste it. Now it's time for a flight out of here. Let's go. Terminal 2. It's a quick stop before a flight out of here. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Guys, let us know what other amazing restaurants, if they're chain or not, you want to see us visit in the future. We're going. We're world travelers. Julia, before we fly out, can we go to Will Smith? <laughs>